had an individual who was totally dependent. She just had a fall and she was kind of at the point in her life, I think she's 82. So she's like, you know, I'm getting older. Like there's, there's no really need for me to be here anymore. So very depressed, very sad. And I'm, I started talking to her about what she values and what she, what she needs. And she really valued being clean. So her having to do everything in bed was not feasible for her. So I started little by little having her do her ADLs in bed, like washing her face with a washcloth and things like that. And I, I started gaining her trust. And I said, you know, wouldn't this be a little easier if we could maybe get to the sink? And so we started like even just transferring to the wheelchair to get to the sink, then walking to get to the sink and things like that. And really building up her confidence and and what she valued and what was meaningful, meaningful for her to really get back to doing what she valued. And now we're actually planning on a discharge when originally we thought that she was going to be long-term care. So it was really awesome to hear that, yeah, her family is like willing to do the little help she needs, which now she's, she's pretty much independent. She just needs a few minor like grocery shopping type of things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that one's really valuable for me. But also I had a nonverbal patient who is when I first started at this facility and I was really skeptical because I didn't, I didn't have a close relationship with him yet. And um, just going into his room, he has significant dementia, later stages and nonverbal and everything. And I walk into his room and he was a little standoffish. Like there's a strange lady. I have to wear a mask when I go in because of COVID. Strange lady coming into his room. I introduced myself and um, I noticed that he had some Navy pictures and like a Navy blanket on his bed and things like that so I started asking him about that and his face like lit up that mm -hmm. I just even you know approached him and like made that connection with him and he proceeded to get a photo album out of his desk and show me pictures and like even though he couldn't speak he was like tapping me on the shoulder and telling me to look at all these pictures and it was just so amazing that I could have that communication with him without saying any words. Mm -hmm. And um, I was able to bring him down to the gym and he trusted me enough to do that. So it was really an amazing moment right there.